I'm preparing to do a double replacement reaction here. First, we will begin by dissociating calcium nitrate in water. Give that a stir. And on the other side, we have sodium carbonate. We will dissociate some of that in water as well. As you can see, the uh, two salts now are fully dissociated. There are no solids left in either beakers. And I'm going to pour the calcium nitrate into the sodium carbonate. Formation of the white precipitate is evidence of the double replacement reaction. Let's look at the reactions for this double replacement reaction that we just saw. In the left beaker, the calcium nitrate, being a soluble salt, dissociates 100%. In the right beaker that we started with, the sodium car carbonate similarly dissociates 100%. In the mixture, all four ions from both beakers are listed as reactants, and it is true that the calcium carbonate solid precipitates and the sodium nitrate solid does not. You might want to think of an experiment that can verify that, or we can look up above and we can simply say there were two possibilities for precipitates here. The positive ion from the first solution could have been attracted to the negative ion from the second, and that is the combination which does precipitate. The other combination, the negative ion from the first solution, could have possibly precipitated with the positive ion from the second solution. 